Hi there, it's Monday, June 14th, and that means two things. One, it's Flag Day, but uh, just for one flag. All the other flags don't get a day. And it's time for the Lighting Industry News Brief, brought to you by Keystone and their new live series of demos and uh, features. These are in-person events. Next Gen Light Made Easy, talking about future fit LED retrofit kits. You can convert legacy fixtures, everything you need to know. To learn about these new things, check out keystagnetech.com or the link in the description. And it's into the news. As of the 16th, ULT will be raising prices on everything. Uh, The White House Economic Council has launched a supply chain task force, a new 100-day review plan for what the heck has gone wrong with everything everywhere. Uh, One in 10 contractors agreed there are lighting product shortages. This is uh, another Chamber of Commerce survey confirming what we're all noticing. Kathy Choi has won a Women in Lighting Leadership Award presented at Lightovation later this year. UK has uh, banned halogen following the EU fluorescent ban to follow. Zykato has been named the Company of the Year. Leviton is the most used brand, according to Builder Magazine. I can't find dimmer switches from any one but them. That might be why. Uh, Visual Comfort Co. has got an investment infusion from Goldman Sachs and Leonard Green and Partners. Solviasis has created an LED that will allow livestock to generate their own vitamin D. Uh, Hilooms has partnered with SnapCount. Their catalog is now on their product hub. Uh, Orion has posted their quarterly results. That's a three and a quarter percent margin last quarter. Uh, in Turnabout, a Signifies formal can- former counsel, uh, David Barnes, is now working for Stingray. They have um, patents, sort of. Uh, in events and webinars, Stacey Higginbotham will be presenting on Matter, and Light Fair registration is now open. In market predictions, the worldwide LED market will reach $73 billion in value by 2026. The global semiconductor sales will increase by 19% this year, And aluminum nitride powder is set to grow by 3.5% over the next few years. In rep agency updates, uh, Nemo's collection is now exclusive through Y Lighting. In recommended reading, we have a discussion of Signify's relighting of football stadia in Rome, Munich, Budapest, Amsterdam, Bucharest, and St. Petersburg. You can consider new roadway site and area lighting standards. We've got a case study from the Yongbukung Palace. That's their exterior lighting retrofits. We have a new guide to the best in smart outdoor lighting and what Coterin Industries got out of their industrial IoT project and some signs you might not have gotten enough daylight today. In uh, IoT, TLQ has uh, Smart Cities Consortium has reached their 50th member and MaxLite has joined the LCA. In R&D, OLEDs are less disruptive to your metabolism than uh, standard LEDs. Plants have their own circadian rhythms. New York State has awarded $5 million to colleges to study energy savings. And next-gen LEDs might be built through the power of atom swapping. These are more complex crystals that might triple out, but in horticultural information, we have lessons learned from cold climate tomatoes and strawberries from Sunterra. In dark sky news, Nucla and Nu in dark skies, uh, two towns in Colorado have gained dark sky community status. Florissant Fossil Beds National Park is on the list of dark sky parks. Port Townsend, Washington, is beginning their light pollution initiative. Idea awards for nine categories are open for nominations until the twentieth. You can save birds just by turning off your lights. Uh, in local news, Wasan, Ohio, is will, will be replacing any broken or burned out street lamps with LEDs going forward. The Florida Department of Transportation has reversed course on pride-related lighting on two bridges. Apparently, uh, someone thought that might not have been up to code, even though uh, supporting local sports team was last month. Who knows? Uh, Historic Joliet, Illinois, is upgrading their street lights. Schenectady, New York, has a new clean energy finance program. Uh, The Missouri Department of National Resources has new energy improvement loans. We have a Smart Ontario program launching. Baltimore's Domino Sugar Sign has been relit with LEDs. And St. Paul, Alberta is converting their streetlights. In 
projects you can do at home. You can create home automation with just a chalkboard. Uh, we can make your own blinky RGB LED triangles. Don't need no fancy name brands. Uh, yes, auto headlights are getting brighter. You can create a lamp that also monitors air quality, specifically carbon monoxide. Uh, Durham U has trained 28 people to echolocate in under 10 weeks. This is the greatest fit. This is the greatest threat to lighting as an industry since the audiobook. And the Royal Navy has rolled out a new Dreadnought class submarine that has circadian lighting on board. In people news, GenLed is making major changes in their appointments. These, these are new VPs and other C-suite members. We have the IES naming Dan Salinas as their interim, interim executive director. Lightline has added three to their sales and quotations team. Robert Larhoven is leaving his job at B-Matrix, and First Supply is named Kitty Pulling Seymour as CEO. Uh, thank you very much to Nail to get associated, get educated. Thanks, Keystone. Thank you. I've been Scott Walker. Enjoy the music. Enjoy your week. Mm -hmm.